Hey, thanks a lot for tuning in today. I want to show you how to take a fusion composition, save your comp as a template, customize the controls and install it as a script into Resolve so your effect shows up in the edit page menu. When you want to use it again, you can preview it and just drag and drop it right into your timeline. The custom menus you created will show up in the inspector for easy changes in your project. I will use the rings effect I made for a recent tutorial. If you'd like to see how I built this effect, the link is in the description, or if you're on a desktop, the link is at the top of the page. Starting at the Fusion page, select all the nodes except the Media Out node. The order the nodes selected matters. Select the nodes with the controls you want to expose in the inspector first. These controls will be at the top of the Edit Page Inspector settings when the effect is used later. In this case, I want to add some comments at the top of the control so I can remember how to use the tool. I will select a node first with no other controls needed for that node. Then I want to control both rings color and thickness. I also want to control the diameter of each ring. Also, I want to expose controls for the number of rings and spacing between the rings. These controls are located in the duplicate 3D node. Last, I want the soft glow setting controls to be available. Hold down the control key, command key on a Mac and select the nodes one by one. Right click on any of the selected nodes, choose macro, create macro. You can see the list is in the order I selected the nodes. Expand each tool where you want to expose the controls in the edit page. Check the export setting checkbox for each of the controls you'd like. Customize the names of the controls by changing the defaults. Do this for each one of the node controls you want. Change the macro name to define the tool you're creating. Once you're done, at the top of the menu, select File, Save As. In Windows, the drive location will start at the folder Fusion Macros. Go up one level to Fusion. Select the Template folder, then Edit Folder, and finally Titles. While we are here, I'll open a new Windows Explorer window to access this folder again in a minute. Name your file keeping the dot setting extension. Click Save. Here's the full file path on Windows and Mac. If you get lost in the file navigation, just move the setting file to these folders. Next, Resolve needs to be restarted for the new script and menu item to show up. Shut down Resolve. At this point, I'll open the 3D ring setting file in a text editor from the Explorer window I previously opened. If you want all the template's nodes to be exposed, change Macro Operator to Group Operator. When you leave it Macro Operator, only a single macro node will show up. Scroll down to the first node group. For me, it's the S-Merge 1. I use that as the first node I included. At the bottom of this node group, you'll see View Info equals Operator Info. Above that, you'll see a parenthesis comma. So you're gonna to need to insert a space above that and include comments equal input, parenthesis value equals parenthesis quotations, whatever text you want. Be sure to include backslash N if you want a carriage return in your text. End with another quotation, comma, and parentheses, comma. Save the file carefully with a dot setting extension to make the changes. Open DaVinci Resolve. In the edit page under Effects Library Title, scroll down to your custom template. Here you can preview the tool, drag and drop it into the timeline. In the inspector window, the custom controls we created are all available along with the instructions we wrote. Make some changes with the settings and reuse your custom resolve tool anytime you need it. Hey, please subscribe for more tips and tricks like this. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, everybody.